In this screencast, we're going to talk about iframe, which is short for inline frame. This HTML tag is similar to frame, where it can source a different web page in itself. But unlike frames, iframe is still quite popular today and is still being used by major portal sites. Let's first set up a couple HTML pages that iframe will, will source. Let's open up top style. Create a new page. Let's do H1. This is page one. Let's change this background color of the body. Color. Let's make it red. Let's save it. Page one. Now let's change this to page two. Pick a different color. Let's do this. Aqua's good. File, save as. Instead of page one, do page two, save. Now we have two HTML pages. Let's create another page and now we're going to create the iframe and it looks like this you have open iframe and the close iframe if your browser doesn't support iframe uh, you can put the contents between the iframe here and it'll show or else it'll never show this text in between the iframes it'll only show your source of the page. So first thing, obviously, is the source of the page you want to get from. And we have page one.html. Let's see what it looks like right now. This is iframe. Let's minimize it. Open up the file. Let's view this in our browser. And you see this page one is being sourced inside the iframe, and this is our normal HTML page. Let's minimize it. I'm going to show you a few more attributes for iframes. You can set the width. To, this would be in pixels, height, 200. You can set frame border. You can set it either to 0 or 1. 1 being visible, 0 meaning no borders. Let's set it to 0. Let me close. Actually, you can see it here. It's got frame border, height, source, width. You can also set the align. You can give it a class, ID, long description, margin height, margin width. Let's set these to zero. And let's give it a name. T frame. We can make the scrolling auto, yes or no. Let's make it no. We can give it inline style. We can give it a title. Let's go back. And it'll just get added here. Let's save it. Minimize it. Bring back Firefox. View it again. This is page one. Okay. Let me minimize it and open up page one with top style. This time, instead of just giving it H1, I'm going to make it linkable. Control X for cut, Control V for paste. href, I'm going to point to page two, HTML. Save it, minimize it. In a Firefox. Now this this is page one text is a link. If I click it, 
it will load the page 2 inside the same frame, like this. And everything else in this main page does not get affected. So this is the use of iframe. So how are sites using iframe and why do they use them? Think about this. Imagine that you have a website that serves millions upon millions of page views per day. Most likely you'll be serving banner ads on your website. These banner ads are HTML elements that we created, well, that were created by a third party advertising company. There may be times when the third party advertising banner would actually interfere with the main functions of your site mainly style sheet interference or sometimes if you have a search box on your page uh, it doesn't do the search because it was interfered by the advertisement so one of the many so solutions can be to place the banner ads inside an iframe which can minimize interference and this method is still being used by many major portal sites then there's this second example I want to show you. Let's go to a website. It's called totalbeauty.com. If you come to the website and go to the bottom right of the site, you'll see that there is actually a poll unit, a polling unit that allows you to make a choice, vote for it, then the page sort of refreshed, this section refreshed itself, and the results come up while the questions disappear. Iframes can be used when you just want parts of your page to refresh. And there are times when you set, see a website like this one, uh, once you answer it, the little poll section just turns the turns to poll, poll results without refreshing and re, uh, the rest of the page. Actually, this isn't done using iframes. This is actually done using something called Ajax, uh, which is more advanced topic. But you can also achieve the same effect by using iframes. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.